Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting, and this time we are going to paint this type of uh, creature, this um, bird, and I will do it in a fiery look, okay? So I, I have this type of fiery uh, feathers that I'm doing for the for the feathers on, on the French. So we are going to start applying a yellow. I will apply a flash with yellow as a base coat uh, on the bird, okay? So we are going to take this one and we are going to apply it on the base. Uh, right on the base, as a base coat, okay? I will apply this on the whole miniature and when I will play as a, more likely a two layers and once it's done I will be back. Okay, next step we are going to apply when we have a nice yellow uh, with home orange over the yellow, okay? Uh, I prefer to apply this with home orange over with yellow because it's a uh, yeah it it's quite a dark orange a little bit browny and it will leave it will be much more lifeful over yellow. If you apply it over white, I find it a little bit too. No, I, I'm not a big fan. And you can see this orange is almost brown okay it's very dark one so sp spread it well don't leave big pools uh, we are going to apply this all over the yellow okay you can see I will do this on camera so you can see exactly how this is done you can see that I try to avoid that is that I, I have pools of paint uh, some more likely uh, we at the end some will happen because it's quite difficult to fully avoid it but yeah, working with that and I will do the whole mm, bird this one okay even though some parts will go in a different color later on they prefer to do the whole bird and then later on we are going to, to correct the parts that we want in a different color so you can see use a cheap brush to do that Okay, mm, when you do washes or contrast, you don't need good brushes normally. And be careful not to spot parts that you already painted. Okay, so you can see how I did the, the two wings. Try to uh, be careful, don't, don't forget any part. Okay. You can see it's quite a nice and lifeful orange what we have here now. Again, this orange, this if you want a, a fiery orange or bright orange, always apply it over yellow. Don't do it over white or bone color because I find the feeling that is too desaturated then. Okay? And I don't like to give uh, to have a brighter orange in that case. So I will finalize that, and now we wait that this dries before doing any further step. Okay, this how looks like once the wash have dried. And now we are going to give a different color on the parts where we don't have uh, the, the feathers. And I will use Griff Charger Grey so to, gi to give a greyish color on that area, on that, on that part. Okay? So we are going to take this one and apply it here to make a bluish greyish tone. Of course the orange will go through but I want to give more a darker tone. Okay. And then we wait that this dries. Be careful not to go on the feathers. I just want to go where we have the skin.
Okay, this will give this bluish. And we are, we can give even two layers if you want. So if you want to go darker. Okay, we are going to do as well some highlights later on with some of the bluish colors. And we are going to play with this type of double shading to make it look weird. So here the objective is just really like a very weird small thing. thing. Here you can see how transparent can be some of these paints. Some can be very transparent and some can be quite opaque of these contrast paints. Okay. But they are start giving that's why I say maybe two layers will make the work. Okay. So I let it dry and I'm back. At the end I applied a second layer of the grip charger. I will wait this dry, but while this I'm waiting that this drying I can work on the feathers. So on the feathers I'm going to use no flash heat yellow. Okay, and we are going to do the next thing. So we are going to take a, a short uh, a small brush and we are going to take the case for example from the back and I will do like that. Okay. Small lines. I will do the same. On the next one, okay, and I will keep doing this. Okay, and then on these small ones, <coughs> I will do more or less the same. We're going to do as well a little bit the other side. Okay, so I will do both sides on both. myself as well while I'm doing that to see what is the best because I want to do the edge like that okay don't worry if it's too stark we are going then to use a technique to make it them look less contrasting okay what I will do now I will put it in fast track and you can see how I keep working on that
Okay, I will do like that the rest of the bird of the feathers and I will be back. So I keep working on this guy. Okay, I want to show you how it will work on the on the back, okay? Because I was doing I have done this wing, you can see, I have to do the other one, but first I want to show you what I'm doing here. So here what I'm doing is you know that we have very little feathers at the front and that is, is flat at the back. So what I will do is I will do like random dots all over the back. Okay, like that. And we are going to do the same on the tails. This isn't trying to do I was thinking if I would do a color gradient, but at the end I think it will look interesting to make like this type of pattern. On the different terms. You want to be random, some bigger, other smaller. And we do it like that. Okay, so I just saw that this is different from what I did on the wings. I wanted to show to you how I do it. Okay, I will do the other tails and I'm back once all this is done. Okay, so here you can see now how this bird is looking like and I'm changing plans right now because I have seen how it looks like and I think I will go for a different color on the end of the skin because uh, the two layers of the wish color have made it very interesting brown and I think I will keep this creepy brown on this guy. So what I will do now instead of using um, I will use Death Cloud Brown and I will use Scrap Brown. I have it on already on, on my wet palette. And we are going to do some highlights with these two browns. So let's just let me put a little bit more water because it seems that they are a little bit dry. Okay, they're okay. As well. Okay. And we are going to just exaggerate a little bit more the highlights, not too much, we don't need too much because you can see I will start with the darker brown, this crack and I will do like that and yeah, and then where I went a little bit more the death cloud and I think we'll give an interesting creepy look like if it's Doing this brown is just to exaggerate a little bit more the highlights. And to show this wrinkle that this guy has. Okay. So we are going to go like that. As you can see my paint is quite thin. This means that when it dries, it becomes quite transparent. So if you want less transparent, you go less thinner. But like that. I think I'm having quite... At the end I'm happy with this change of direction because I was not sure how to go for the skin. It's quite a creepy type of vulture. Okay, then we are going to lose. have a fly wrong here. 
is the problem of the summer, we have a lot of bugs around. Okay, then here on the top, let me take it because it's going to be easier out of the base to do this. I mean out of the handle to make the tops. Sometimes when you need to do this part it's better out of the handle. So what I will do now, here you can see that it went a little bit off with the brown, with the orange I will put a little bit of brown to make it darker. But I think like that will give this creepy look. And I'm playing with the two tones of brown and apply the pending. What is needed just to improve this highlight. Okay. Next. Now I'm going to use a bad dark brown. I'm going to do the big, really dark. I'm going to use Zygor brown. Okay. And I put this on the close and on the big. So we're going to put it here. On this color to be fair. These dark browns will work almost on top of any color. Be careful not to get them the surroundings. This can be used on, on very different verbs, and eh? you using this as an example, but you can see it's like uh, you can do it in the phoenix looking like birds and something like that. So you can see that in my, I also like to sometimes to experiment a little bit, and we are going to apply this on the back. Okay, we'll make the back as if it's completely black or almost very dark brown and then we are going to play with the tongue to make it very fiery okay to give this sensation of magical creature so now we are going to use the same oranges so I have fiery orange I have um, wild rider red okay so I'm going to use this color Wild Rider Red. Okay, I have as well this one, Fire Dragon, and I have Flash Githy Yellow. Okay, and with these colors, we are going to give the final touch to this bird. So, first on the tongue, I will apply. Okay, I contaminate a little bit my yellow, but it's not a problem. So I have put a little bit of orange on my yellow and I make it warmer. It's not a problem. And I will put this bright yellow on the tongue. Okay, of course this is too much, as you can see. So now we are going to use our orange. And we are going to wait at this device. Okay, I'm going to wait at this device. So while I'm waiting at this device, I'm going to do the eye. The eye I will go 
I will start first with Wild Rider Red, it is a very dark orange or a orangey red. And we go a little bit bigger than the eye. Okay. Something like that. Now we are going to take the writer orange or even the yellow. You can take you can take the yellow and put it in the middle. This is a very small thing. And if you go a little bit too big, now we'll take the darker orange, make it a little bit of the brighter one, and make it smaller, like that. Now I will take the darker orange as well, and we are going to apply it on this stone. You can see why it's not fully light, but this is done in purpose because I want it, I want to blend it. There. And if you want, you can even take a little bit of brown. We'll take Renus height and you put it at the end of the tone. Okay, and then uh, we take orange. Okay. And like that is how you can do type of fiery Fiery, uh, where I'm putting, I'm just taking, making sure that I'm putting on the tip. And now I take the bright orange. Take a little bit of yellow. But I want to improve the brightness. Okay. Now we can take XV88 or medium brown and we can do a little bit of HK light to the big.
So it's more the definition of it and as well you can do the same on the nails. Okay, and like that we have this fiery bird done. So this is what I want to share with you as part to complement all these weeks that I've been doing tutorials and paint jobs or, yeah, on this type of miniatures. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. Please let me know what do you think about the paint job on this fiery bird. I hope you have liked it. Please give a like if you have liked it. Share if you think other people can be interested. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!